Jimmy, QSIS, QSC. Yes, um, we looked at the platform, not when the initial frames came out, but last one, I think the, the 250 and 500 series uh, cores came out. The 250 is discontinued now, and we've got now in its place, I guess, the Core 110F. Now, big difference between this and the 250 is that whereas the previous generation um, was card-based, this is fixed I.O. And we've got 24 channels of analog I.O., of which eight is mic line inputs. Eight is out and eight, eight, eight and is eight, It can be either. It's um, What do they call that? Flex channels. Yes, they call them flex channels. Uh, in addition to that, 16 channels of GPIO, plus we've got a 16 by 16 channel USB interface, plus we've got a POTS interface for, for connecting it to a phone line, yep. exactly. And we've got dual LAN ports, of course, supporting 128 channels of audio over QLAN protocol, which is QSC's audio over Ethernet. Yes, uh, but no Dante in this unit. No Dante in this unit. Um, look, you can get Dante on the bigger units. There is a card that supports 64 channels of Dante, but I think the idea here is that they're going for a sort of small fixed format installation. It is totally an install product. We've mm. got Phoenix connectors for pretty much everything audio on the back. Um, look, what, we, what we, we should point out is that they've done a fair bit of work on, on upping the processing capabilities. We've got improved AEC over the first generation of QSIS. We've got gain sharing auto mixers. Um, it is, of course, an open architecture platform yeah. as you know the core 250 and 500 yep. and the bigger cores are. So we've got the flexibility to make it be whatever we want it to be. And I think where, where it's going now with that I.O. count and also there's an RS-232 port is uh, we're going to start seeing people use these not just for processing audio, but also for doing some basic control functions, things like you know turning on and off a projector or maybe dropping a screen or doing some matrix switching. Uh, and indeed, we've seen this uh, used for things like uh, video conferencing applications where you can tell a PTZ camera to recall a specific preset yep. based on you know, an audio function happening, for instance. So if one person talks, the camera can zoom to them. So right now the camera would be pointing at me. Yep. So yeah, look, it's um, it, it's compact. It's one rack unit, so it's not gonna not gonna chew a lot of real estate space. We don't have data port anymore, but that's because QSC has also come out with a new line of amps that supports QLAN as an input. So yep. um, forget the the, was it the 15 pin cables for interlinks. Now it's all just Ethernet, which yeah. simplifies the cabling infrastructure and makes it easier to install and faster. You know you. You don't have proprietary cables to worry about anymore. You're just using LAN cables. So look, I think um, price-wise, I think it's priced pretty keenly. It's it's certainly not the cheapest open architecture DSP, but QSC are claiming uh, the best value for I/O count to dollars. And uh, looking at the pricing, I think that it's probably not an unreasonable thing. Mm. So there you go. That's the Core 110F from QSIS.